Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I'm coming to you today with a second video in my series, Permuting the Tree. Um, today I will be covering three paths, three lettered paths, connections, between Sephiroth, um, He, Vav, and Shin. The first three paths in the Tree of Life. Um, sorry for the delay since my last video. It's been a little longer than I wanted it to be, um, but I've been busy working constantly every day on a new tool that I'm making for a friend, which I'll probably do a video on later. Um, so the, um, the obsidian sphere that I had with me in the last video um, is in that tool. It's become a part of that tool. So part of the delay, uh, aside from working uh, as steadily on this tool, is I had to order another um, Obsidian Sphere to do these videos. So I decided that I really liked the, the assistance that the Obsidian Sphere gave to me. So we have a new Obsidian Sphere, a really beautiful, lovely sphere. Um, which will be my companion, my aid, for this series of videos. So, today, the three letters. First one, uh, first I, I should begin by saying that these are just my experiences of the paths and the, the process that I go through when I work one of these paths. Um, so, your experience may be quite different than mine, or it may be similar, um, but it won't match it exactly. So I'm just giving you these as examples um, to introduce you to the process and some of the um, realizations that are possible. And I'm going to be doing a very brief traveling of the path, taking just a few minutes for each path. However, when you're working these paths by yourself, it can be very brief, or it can be very long. I've spent hours working with the Path of Hay, for example, uh, same with Vav and Shin, but what I'm saying is don't get stuck in it being a specific time that it will take you to work a path. It can vary radically. Uh, the longer you take, the more you will get out of it, ultimately. But even the brief experiences are illuminating. And I learn something new each time. That's the thing about working with the tree. It, it takes you deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. So, the path of hay, the first path, comes from Kether and reaches down to Hokma. It's the path of hay, which uh, means window in Hebrew. Um, and you can see from the letter itself, it sort of resembles um, a primitive uh, house structure with a little window out the top. It lets the smoke out. It lets the air in. It lets the light in. It lets you look out. Um, so, window, hay. It's also Aries. Now, in terms of uh, Kabbalah, we have to think of a lunar calendar, not a solar calendar. So Aries is not, you know, that day uh, in March when uh, the sun enters the sign of Aries doesn't begin that particular month, month in the Hebrew calendar. It instead starts on the new moon in Aries, when the sun and the moon are conjunct in the sign. That is when the letter begins. And it's very um, good to work um, the astrological paths on the day of their own new moon. Um, so, we have Aries. It's the cardinal fire sign. It, uh, it's about spring, you know, that, that popping into life, into existence, the, the new fresh part of the year, 
um, where everything is alive and green, and, uh, alive. Um, it's considered impulsive, um, uh, very uh, loyal, um, etc. You can look up for yourself more of the symbolism of Harry. So these are the two primary symbols of the, uh, the lettered paths. The letter itself, what it means and what, how it looks, what it represents, and the astrological sign that is covered by the letter, in this case, Aries. Okay? So those are the, the, two, the two symbols, basically, that I'll take in, into this uh, exercise with me. We know Kether, it's the eye. We know Hakma, it's the realm of um, essential meaning. Um, so, we know where we're starting and where we're ending up. Now it's about the process of descending from Kether into Hakma, and everything that it tells us about Kether and about Hakma. So we're going to go down this path of Aries, and then we're going to come back up the path of Aries to Kether. And so we'll start in Kether and we'll end in Kether. Okay. So I'm just going to go for it in much the same way that I did in the last video. Oh, Kether. I. Ooh, it's all I. Nothing but I. Everything but I. I is everything. I am. Your eye. Now I look down as the eye, oh, and I see below me. I am. Oh yes, I am. Oh, so I travel down this path of Aries into Hakma, into essential meaning. And it just goes so fast. I'm there in an instant. Oh, that's too fast. We want to go slower. Oh, and Kether, I see myself. I feel myself. I am my being. I am. Causes such brilliance, such light. Oh, I descend in light into this realm of an infinite number of essential meanings. I explode into Hakma and fill it with myself because I am. I am this. Oh, I am infinite in my variety. I am infinite in my expression, and I must express myself. This is what I am. I am. Oh, and I am brilliance, brilliant light that fills everything that is everything. It is my brilliance that I, I cast out. Descended by Aries. Aries takes me so quickly, so innocently, so without judgment of any kind. It's just automatic. It's what it's what I must do. It's how it must be and must be right now. I am. I am. I am more than just I. As I am. I return back up to Kether. I look up and oh, it's blinding. The amount of light that is pouring down upon me is blinding. I am raised up by that light descending and I come up. Oh, and it's once again so still. Oh, 
so one thing instead of many. One thing. Oh, I. The infinite whiteness, homogeneous whiteness of I, simple I. So calm. Okay, that's, hey, the main uh, experience that I get with hey is the quickness of the descent. It's just instantaneous. There's no holding back. It just, wah, and all of Kether flows into Hakma. It's really beautiful how the whole of Kether descends into Hokma. It is Hokma. It's Kether at a different state, basically. Um, yeah. Okay. Our second path is Vav. Vav means nail. I didn't think of nail for a second, you know, and the letter itself looks like a little nail, uh, uh, an ancient nail. Um, nail, it holds things together, it penetrates and affixes things, holds things together, okay? That's the, the main uh, idea in the letter Vav. You affix one thing to another and hold them together. Um, its sign is Taurus, which immediately follows Aries. It's the development of the springtime where the clover is blooming, um, where the fields start to show f masses of color, of flowers blooming. Um, the tree, the leaves have all started definitely coming out. And some are already fully out, but they have that, that green of spring to them. Uh, it's a very alive time. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's ruled by Venus. Um, Aries, by the way, is ruled by Mars. I should have mentioned that. <laughs> um, it is a central component in its symbolism. But, excuse me here, uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is about beauty, um, um, and it's about uh, the way that things resonate with each other, the way that we are connected through resonation, I resonate with, things resonate with me, etc. It's this exchange, which we would call love, because um, it involves a lot of compassion in the very real sense of the word. Um, so, these are the two um, main uh, symbols for this path. The male, Vav, um, and Taurus the early spring, things really, spring really taking hold. Okay, and remember, we, we know where we're coming from, Cather, the eye, and we're going down to Bina, which is a central form. Kath, I mean, in Chokma, we had a central meaning. Here we have a central form, okay? Pure I, the 
absolute whiteness. That's a, that contains all things. I, whole of existence, one unified, homogenous. Light has taken form. Oh, I see the path of of Vav below me, and I go down. Oh, it's a pleasant journey. Oh, the smells are so luscious. Oh, the blooming flowers. Oh, and the brilliant light is behind me casting a shadow as I go down mm. things are getting thicker oh. I am feeling form take hold of me oh. and I have a form I am that and that and that there's a million, a billion, a trillion there's a zillion, there's an infinite number of forms. Everything has form. All the essential meanings are form. They're all screaming at me, yelling at me, calling out their meaning. It's so plain to see all the forms. So many, so many. It's just constantly changing. Nothing is constant. No form is forever. It's always changing. So many forms. And each one expresses itself. So it's a cacophony of meaning at the same time as form. Oh, it's overwhelming, this rush of information, this rush of meaning, and it's all through form. Silent speaking. Oh, gosh. Without a word, it communicates itself. It's all so thick. It's so thick around me in every direction. It's all constant form.
so calm. Now, our third path is shin. The letter shin means tooth or teeth. And as the, the, the physical letter itself illustrates, it looks like three teeth. <laughs> um, pretty good chewing teeth in my estimation. Um, so, <clears throat> that shin, it grinds things up spits them out, well, it doesn't spit them out, but it grinds things up, it masticates, um, it digests. After, it's one of the processes that it initiates, is digestion. But it, it chews, it breaks things down, okay? It is the mother letter of fire. Now, this is not like elemental fire or uh, material fire at all, really. Um, it shares some properties, but it is not like the element. Um, it is the mother letter of all fiery things. And in, in Kabbalah, it, it mostly means the force that excites, the force that quickens, the force that moves things along. Um, it breaks things up. It, uh, it rushes forth. Okay? That's fine. And that is its meaning, um, like Aries and Taurus, is fire. So that is Shin. So, the path of Shin. And we're starting this time not from Kether. We're starting from Chokmah, essential meaning. And we're traveling to Bina, essential form, and then back again. So this is in transition between essential meaning and essential form. Okay? flowing meanings. Everywhere are meanings fluttering around me in this great Catholic brilliance. Oh, such an inspiring, thrilling sense of meanings. So much potential. Oh, it's infinite. Meanings. Here are meaning. There are meaning. Oh, each one is its own little jewel. Oh, then there's another. Oh, gosh. I am all these things. Each one is a part of me. Oh, this wealth of meanings. Oh, okay. Now, all this meaning that has to express itself. It must express itself. It is expressing itself always. I must express myself towards Bina, towards that form that is a perfect vessel for my expression. So I travel down this path, this trail of 
fire being. Oh, I am the Ruach Elohim. I am the breath of life itself. I am the fire that fills everything, the meaning that fills everything. I flow as fire into every form and I start to take shape and size and color. Ah, oh, oh, and I am now in form. All oh, the essential meaning that was flowing around me is now flowing as form, expressing itself as form. Oh, and it's perfect, absolutely perfect. Oh, every form is such a beautiful expression of that jewel of meaning. Oh, perfect expression of its meaning. Oh, everyone. Oh, it's a perfect expression of its meaning. Oh, oh, all around me is the meaning turned into form. Oh, it's a miracle. It's so beautiful so creative, so filled with potential on the verge of realization, but it's so fleeting, so quick, oh, so temporary, oh, and it's so infinite in its scope and variety. Oh, it's perfect, beautiful. Oh, and I look at this, this flow into me of meaning, oh, burns my face. Uh, it burns me. Oh, and it's so quiet. There's not a word spoken. Oh, but it's so expressive. This meaning turned to form. I give it form. That is my power. I give form. It is my gift. Form. And I do it perfectly, every time, everything, I give it perfect form. Oh, and I go back towards Volma. Oh, oh, and I walk through the fire. Oh, oh, and it doesn't make a sound. As it shouts <laughs> its meaning into form, oh, and I am freer and freer as I return to Hogma, where it's all meaning, oh, and I'm overwhelmed by the sense of creative, creativeness, the creativeness of that Catholic brilliant, it thrills my blood, it, 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 it speeds me, it, it, it excites me. It keeps me moving and expressing, constantly expressing. Oh, and I look back to Vina and I see the beauty, absolute, stunning, glorious beauty of the form that it gives to my meaning. I am this, I am that, I am this, I am that, I am. Oh, oh so would it be. Yes. So, <laughs> I hope that gives you some idea of what these experiences are like for me and what I do when I work a path. Um, these are the simplest of the gates, the single path gates between two sephirot and one path. Um, and they're the letter gates too. So these are the simple path workings, the very most simple path workings. Um, when you start combining paths and sephirot, 
it becomes a little more complex, but not too much more. It just takes longer to go through the whole process. Um, in fact, those three paths together form a supernal triangle on the tree of life, and that is one of the early gates. It's the first of the triangular gates in the permutations of the tree. So it would take not quite as long um, to do a quick working of that gate um, as it did for me to go through it now. Um, just because there's no interruptions in between. Um, and it's very consecutive, not like these. Um, it's a very linear sort of experience. And uh, similar to what I've just done in working a more complex gate, you go around in the direction of the gate, and each one I, I uh, tell you what the direction is, and then you go in the reverse. So you start in one area, go around, and come uh, and do the, and the whole gate, and then undo the gate, basically. So, the, uh, the backward, or the forward and backward experiences of the path are of equal importance. They really are. Uh, and it's together that they um, illuminate the path itself. Together. So going just one direction is not going to be a full, um, anywhere near a full experience of the path. So that does it for now. I have yet to decide how I'm going to approach the, the rest of the, the path workings. Um, but I'll figure it out, and we'll get to eat piecemeal over the next few months, probably. Okay, bye-bye for now. <clears throat> Huzzah.